Good afternoon, everybody. Today, we are diving back into our fundamental series. This is all about the ultimate chat GPT guidebook for real estate agents. Now, this is a book that we wrote over here. I did not want to publish it to print because chat GPT is changing all the time. And if you are interested in picking up a copy of this book, it is $39. You can find it on workflowsecrets.info forward slash WFS GPT guide. I'll throw the link down in the description. It's a great way you can support us, but if you are not yet so sold on picking up a copy of that, I get it. Uh, all you have to do is tune into these videos. I'm going section by section through this book and we are diving into each of these concepts and we're doing it live so that um, you don't have to miss out. So either way, pull out a pencil, pull out a piece of paper, and we are going to get into it. Now, today we are going to be completing the four areas in which a real estate agent needs to focus and have great systems within your business. Now, this is one of Mark's frameworks. It's called the core strategies framework. Conversions, legion. Operations, which is business operations. Retentions, which we covered last time, is uh, retaining past clients and engaging with them in a way that they'll come back. And then today we're talking about the experiences. Now, the caveat is experience isn't necessarily a entire area. It's actually kind of interwoven in between all of the other three, but it's still very important in your business. Now, I kind of spoke to this last time on the retentions, but when you start investing in your experiences, you are going to start watching the magic happen. We like to call this a world-class client experience. This concept comes from our best workflow secrets. This is a real estate agent's guidebook to success in business in real estate, even in a changing market. This is um, one of the most valuable resources. I took three decades of knowledge that Mark had shared with me over the course of two years, and I spent about six months compiling it into a book, and then I spent uh, another three months editing it and refining it and meeting with him and getting his thoughts, feelings, opinions, and then we published it. And I wanted to give you guys a resource as real estate agents that was just like none other. I truly believe this is a valuable resource. I took the content in here and I thought, man, how can I apply this to AI and ChatGPT and what real estate agents are doing? And that's where the ultimate ChatGPT guidebook came from. But world-class client experiences is such a valuable way that you can take either current customers or past clients or leads and give them such a valuable experience, they recognize a couple things. One, that you are in fact the expert that they should and need to work with. And two, once they've finished working with you, they don't forget you and you don't become what I like to call a worst case scenario in real estate where you drive by a property that you know you sold and you see someone else's sign in their yard. Ugh. I hate that, right? Uh, so how do we do this? Well, we can leverage things like ChatGPT to really maximize our abilities to drive that world-class client experience and do some really incredible things. So we've talked about lots of multi-step prompts that you can do. We've talked a lot about single-step prompts you can do. And today we are going to be diving into just a couple examples of single-step prompts that you as a real estate agent can leverage in your business to help with your experiences. Wow, what a great way, right? So very first, let's look at some of these prompts. We're gonna break them down. We're gonna dive into it. And I actually did not pull up a ChatGPT beforehand. So we're gonna jump into ChatGPT and we are going to do it live, right? So let's look at this. What are some personalized way to follow up with client or current leads to provide an exceptional client experience. So I always like to throw a let's start on the groundwork prompt at the very beginning, right? So if you have never even fathomed driving a client experience, where do you even start? What is a client experience? If uh, if you don't know where to start, let's ask ChatGPT, right? So let's go ahead and let's grab this prompt. And I am going to do, 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 pull up ChatGPT. Let's see if I can't do this for you guys. Aha, pull up ChatGPT, and I'm just going to copy paste that guy over. We're going to hit run, and oh, thank goodness. I was afraid that it wasn't going to run immediately, but look what it did. It just popped out an incredible thing. Now, first and foremost, I do have um, ChatGPT's uh, custom instructions built into it. I have another video all on that. If you are interested and you are a ChatGPT Plus member, you can tell ChatGPT a little bit about yourself 
and what you like to do, and it'll understand it. So we did tell it all about the core strategies framework. And so it has spit out a little bit about core, right? But uh, if we are looking to have a personalized way to follow up with current leads to provide an exceptional client experience using the core strategies, how do we do that, right? And this is exactly what ChatGPT looked to do. Like I said, this is a great place to start. It's not the place to end, but it gives us a good way to begin, right? So from the conversion side, we could do personalized video messages. Now, this is a really cool thing that I actually like to do. Um, when I was working in real estate technology in my um, younger years, I actually worked in sales. And Every once in a while, there would be a new uh, customer who was doing a trial. And I would always take the opportunity and do what is called a pattern disrupt. And I had some confetti and I went to the dollar store and I got those like the little straws that have the little curly end. I don't know what they're called. Let me know in the comments if you do. Um, but uh, I would always, I'd like blow the thing and I'd like throw some confetti in the air and I'd, I'd always say like, welcome to uh, this software. And I would just like, I would talk to them about how excited I was to have them, what they were going to get to do. And then I'd pop up the software and I'd show them like three quick little things they could do. Um, but uh, these videos converted so well. And I think I had a, like an 85% conversion rate anytime there was a trialing customer uh, converting into an actual customer. And that was compared to like a 13% conversion rate from some of my other team members. So one of my favorite things was doing that. Obviously, I'm a pretty like uh, energetic um, kind of guy, but uh, it was fun and I was having fun and they could sense it. But uh, sending personalized videos is a great way uh, to engage with them because A, you get to use their name and it doesn't feel like this. I'm sorry. I would love to say your name if I could. There's 85 of you that subscribe. There's probably 300 of you that are going to watch this video. I'm grateful for all of you. I wish you could say your names I'll, right here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Right. Um, but uh, that's a great way. On the operation side, we could do an automated drip campaign. Now, with inside CRMs, customer relationship management softwares, my business partner, Mark, owns and has built a CRM. It's called Realvolve. They have what are called workflows. Now, workflows are automated tasks that uh, you can set up. And all of these automated tasks can do things like sending out drip campaigns or adding to-do lists or um, sending out emails or um, anytime a new lead comes in the door, you can uh, engage with them. And then all of those workflows have templates tied to them. But what you can do is you can set up these systems that have things just automatically running. Sometimes you can check them to make sure that they were running appropriately, um, but it gives you the ability to automate out some of the stuff that you know you needed to get done anyways. And it does it quick and it does it in a way that is repeatable. And this is the key to scaling your business. If you are finding yourself trying to figure out how to go from like the 10 to 20 transaction up to like the 50 to 75 transaction or the 50 to 75 up to the 100 plus, the key is automations and building out your systems. And uh, if you can take anything away from this that's the key. And uh, we've got some really cool stuff at Workflow Secrets uh, with the Systems Accelerator Manager. And uh, I'll show you guys a little demo right here if you're interested. It's a piece of software that helps you build out those systems and those resources faster than you ever thought possible. And they're custom to you and your business systems. Um, but you can plug those into automated drip campaigns with inside your CRM and uh, you can move with some really incredible speed. Now, on the retention side, you can do anniversary reminders. Now, this is one of my favorite things. I absolutely love anniversary reminders. I gave you an incredible example of this on the last time. If you paid attention to our retentions video on how to use uh, retentions prompts, uh, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you the secrets again. You're gonna have to go back. You're gonna have to watch it, right? I'll throw that one up in the uh, the little um, the card area too for you, though. Don't worry, I'm I'm kind, but I am gonna make you uh, give me the click, right? Uh, but uh, there are some incredible anniversary retention tools. They happen every year. You might as well figure out something that's custom to that customer. Really engage with them and help remember why you, in fact, are the real estate agent that cares for them, that can help them, that is the expert in your field, right? 
And then the experience is local event invitations. Now, what if you, as the real estate agent, just had your thumb on the local calendar? I'm sure your downtown association or your township has a reoccurring list of things that are going on in town. And what if you had the ability to gather all this information and share it with your leads or share it with your customers or past clients and say, hey, um, I know that... Uh, this weekend is coming up <laughs> and uh, there's going to be a really cool event here. Like uh, go check it out. Um, one of my favorite things about this event is dot, 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 right? Really cool way. Now we've had organic outreach that's driving value for them and you're establishing yourself back in their life. You're back in their mind. They remember you and you're the expert still. So that's a really cool thing that you can do. Uh, thought provoking content like curated marketing or market insights. Um, these are really powerful. You know, if you uh, go and build out comps or, you know, telling them how their house has um, improved or, um, you know, hopefully we're not sharing comps where they actually lost value, but uh, you can share market insights about how the, the neighborhood has grown, um, how property values have increased, how new businesses have affected, you know, your ability to kind of flex yourself as the expert. Uh, birthday surprises, success stories, uh, season touches. Now, I will, this is like the one thing I've worked in real estate technology for five years and I, if I could just like shake you as a real estate agent to get you to learn a point, I, I absolutely would. And it would be the lovest of shakes. It would just, I just love you to death, but stop sending emails that are blanket emails that are basic emails for every single holiday, every single company that anyone has ever engaged with has ever thought about or who has ever given their email to is sending a holiday and it's getting lost. It's wasting your time. It's wasting their time. They're not reading it, right? Think about better ways of getting those seasonal touches in, right? So uh, my favorite holiday is St. Patrick's Day. So maybe on St. Patrick's Day, my real estate agent sends me a little gift bag and it's got, you know, a, a mini uh, shooter of Jameson and Bailey's and just a single um, Guinness. And it says, have a great St. Patrick's day. Well, hopefully they knew that about me. If not, they know about it, that now because you guys are watching this video, right? Absolutely. Um, and, uh, you know, they could do something really cool like that, or, um, you know, maybe on Thanksgiving, I know a lot of real estate agents love to give pies out, and this is a really great opportunity. Now you take that and you leverage it with, say, a handwritten card. I am a big fan of handwritten cards. I am a um, words of affirmation kind of love language guy, so I'm sure that plays into it. But how many people get handwritten cards these days? Now, it's really easy to automate that out too, and there are lots of businesses that can do it, but you can tell it's not handwritten. So just take the five minutes if you have a hundred transactions a year, that's still only a hundred cards you have to write. Each of them takes three minutes and it is going to just speak volume to your leads. I promise you, or your past clients rather, um, when you handwrite something for them, it's just, it's a lost art and it's such a personal opportunity to connect with someone. Seldom do people get mail, even seldomer, that's not a word, even seldomer do uh, we get handwritten letters. So write a handwritten letter, pair it with a seasonal touch. Uh, community engagement. Uh, this is another, you know, opportunity. Share about community events, um, local insights. Um, you know, hey, did you know that there is a new Frosty Freeze coming on uh, the corner in May? Um, they're going to be doing a opening day promotion where every Frosty Freezy Freeze is 50% off if you high five the cashier cool. You know, that's strange. It's weird, but maybe they'll enjoy it. Maybe, um, you know, it's something tailored to your specific customer, um, interactive surveys. This is a great way to get customer feedback. Now you turn that customer feedback into what's called social proof. This is why things on Amazon sell better when more people have reviewed it. Um, basically we, as people value community and what the community has to say, um, more than just about anything else. So you can leverage social proof or people talking about saying good things about you and what you do as a real estate agent. And you can do it that way. So these are some really incredible examples of things that we can do. And it just involved one single prompt. 
within the experiences. It gave us an entire list of 10 things that we could start uh, working on. Maybe it gives us ideas, maybe it gives us direction, or maybe it gives us a way to move forward. So that's a really cool uh, thing we can do. Uh, now here, here's the, here's the thing, um, in the ultimate chat GPT guidebook, there are just oodles and oodles and oodles of these prompts. I just grabbed a couple of them, uh, for this video because you don't want me to talk for 50 minutes about experiences. Maybe you do. Um, you know, maybe if you do, let me know in the comments, maybe I can do a webinar on it, but, um, that's, that's kind of the crooks of it, right? Um, how can you provide relevant market data and trends to current leads to keep them informed and engaged? It's another really great one. How can you provide uh, exceptional customer service to a client without... Uh, with a specific budget while still delivering results. You know, when they say this is this is my hard line in the sand, how can you still be that expert to them? These are all great things that you can ask and it's just questions. You know, these are things that you could put into a search engine and you can put it into uh, ChatGPT just the same and get a really incredible result. So this is, um, you know, this is what... Uh, what it's all about in the experiences section of uh, the ultimate chat GPT guidebook. Now, if you're interested in uh, picking up your copy, it's $39. This is a really incredible way for you to support us. Again, hopefully you've been getting value out of these. There are probably a dozen uh, more videos to go in the series. And I built out a playlist for you guys. So just start going through them, taking notes, learn what you can. And uh, if nothing else, you know, let's, let's get better at real estate together. Like I said, if you're interested in looking at the software we built, the Systems Accelerator Manager, what it is, is it is a piece of software that learns a little bit about you and your business based on things you tell it. And then it allows you to build the resources and systems into your business faster than you ever thought possible. I'm talking less than 10 clicks. It's going to guide you through the process. So you're not stuck sitting there with a blank document trying to go, oh man, I know I need a lead magnet, but I don't know what it is. I don't know where to start. Or, you know, maybe you just don't have enough time in your life. Most real estate agents probably fall into one of those two categories and it can do that. And it gives you a, gives you a starting place. And um, I'm so excited. We're moving to beta. I've thrown the link down below. If you're interested in joining the beta, I would be honored to have you. I currently have 14 members signed up. We are looking for 20 real estate agents total. So spots are filling up quickly. If for some reason this video goes live, you guys all jump on. I will open up as many spots as I need to uh, for you guys as a thank you for watching all the way to the end of this. But um, that's all I've got for today. Um, I'm so grateful for you guys. I hope this really helps you understand how you can leverage ChatGPT in your real estate business uh, to leverage and utilize better world-class client experiences within your real estate. And I hope you have a great day.